In another demonstration of Russia's decreasing dependence on Western technology and supplies, the Sukhoi Superjet 100, rebranded as the SJ-100, completed its first flight powered by Russian-built engines on March 17. Those within the program state that there is a lot of work still ahead, as this aircraft version makes its way towards certification and entering commercial service. As noted in an official Rostec announcement, the maiden test flight lasted about 40 minutes. The flight task was, quote, completed in full and the power plant showed stable operation. The Superjet is nothing new. However, the aircraft flying with Russian engines is the key thing that is different with this jet. The aircraft is powered by domestically produced PD-8 engines. As noted earlier, the plane was in the air for about 40 minutes and it reached a speed of 500 kilometers an hour and an altitude of up to 3,000 meters. After landing, the crew commander reported that the flight mission was completed in full and that the PD-8 engines showed stable operation. It was also noted that the gas dynamic stability of the engines at constant and variable modes was assessed during the flight. Translated from Russian, Denis Mandorov, first deputy chairman of the government of the Russian Federation and chairman of the supervisory board of the Rostec State Corporation, commented on the work ahead, saying, To intensify certification tests, the manufacturer plans to connect a third fully Russian superjet to them. We expect that this work will be carried out on schedule. The state provides the necessary financial and resource support for aircraft manufacturers in full. Sergei Chemozov, General Director of Rostec State Corporation, said that this first test flight, quote, confirms the correctness of our engineering calculations and the high readiness of the vessel. He added that the project is being implemented in a very short time by the standards of world aircraft construction. It's really more than just an engine swap. Indeed, Chemozov went on to say that after 2022, when sanctions were imposed on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine, the Superjet had to actually be reassembled. About 40 imported systems and units have been replaced, including the engine, avionics, chassis, auxiliary power plant, integrated control system, power supply systems, air conditioning, fire protection, and others. The aircraft also received a domestic fuselage, which was modified to simplify the production and maintenance of the aircraft. In the official press statement, it was highlighted that the two-circuit PD-8 turbofan engine has eight tons of thrust for the Superjet passenger aircraft. The engine was created using new Russian materials and progressive technologies, and the work involves a wide cooperation of enterprises while drawing experience from the creation of the PD-14 engine. As highlighted by the Moscow Times, Russia has pledged more than $2.7 billion to develop domestic aircraft including the SJ-100 and MC-21. Mass production of the MC-21 is expected to begin in 2026. The media outlet adds that authorities in Russia aim to manufacture over 600 aircraft by 2030 to replace its aging Western-built fleet, although concerns remain over production capacity and delivery timelines. What do you think of the success of this test flight and what it means for Russia's aviation industry? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.